though I do a little bit of work for home warranties I actually I guess it's about 5% of my income throughout the year and this next one I'm gonna show you is a home warranty call where a couple days ago we did an air handler for the upstairs and today we were back on the downstairs because it wasn't working not long after the compressor was installed and once again this is not always I'm not always the person that works on this equipment they call multiple companies but what I found was the reversing valve was not completely shifting and those can be a little bit tricky but I went ahead and did an evaporator uh, a leak search on the evaporator coil and this one's turning into a change out so it all worked out for the best tell me what you think on this reversing valve though stay tuned here it comes They had the compressor changed. So I've got the, the white wire inside disconnected. And I've got it switched to heat. What in the world? I've got it switched to heat and we're going to see if it'll run in heat and cool and see what's going on. Looks like I'm seeing lots of hole. You know what, I need a few more sensors on this. So I'm gonna go get my gauges real quick. <clears throat> all right, I got all this hooked up. We are running in cool right now. And that head pressure is really high. Let's see, which one is that? Let's see what my 43 degrees. So it's flooding back. Let's try to watch what happens when we switch to heat. PSI. All right, what's that? And I got 300 here. <clears throat> All right, so I got a 437 head pressure in cool, and my suction is 66 here and 66. There. All right, let's try and heat again. That reversing valve don't sound like it's shifting all like it should. All right, I'm watching my suction pressure because this is hooked up to hot gas. And 
let's look at the suction here. 72. What's my head pressure? My head pressure is... Wait a minute, what was that? Look at my suction. Sounded like it was shifting. I'm seeing lots of oil here. Hmm. I wish there I'll tell you what let's um I'm gonna put this right here and we're gonna put this I'm gonna measure that all right we got good connections 67, 65. All right. I'm going into a vacuum, 68 and 66 temperature. Hmm. Seems like I would have it icing up somewhere. Hmm. All right, head pressure's high. I'm just gonna go through. All right. I'll watch my head pressure and then look at my two pressures over here. Head pressure is 324 right here. Two sixteen, two twenty. All right, that head pressure right here should be transferring to right here. I got three eighteen here.
anyway these two temperatures right here should really be the same they're start, starting to show more of a difference and this head pressure 302 should be the same right here and it's not Just now, oh, here we go. Let me see if they. I am thinking it might be the reversing valve. Right now these head pressures are mirroring each other. Got my suction 74 and that's right on target. My temperature, mm, that should be my hot gas now. So that's 145. My suction's at 46. So it seems to be running good in, except for high head pressure. I think it's overcharged because somebody was. But when I try to run that in heat, Y'all hear the difficulty that reversing valve has trying to shift. Once again, that head pressure right here is not corresponding with this right here. That should be Sure. All right, so we're running in cool. So this, my arch is over here. And this should be hot gas. Um, that ain't sounding good. It just does not seem like it's shifting all the way. Although that... I gotta dig into this a little more. I don't want to prematurely condemn this. Alright, that hissing is coming from this reversing valve. 
and it's off it's just the pressures are slowly equalizing percent certain about that but my money's on this right now inside there's nothing but a inside here there's nothing but a compressor and a muffler and it's not passing my pressure from here to here fully like it should when and that's just a short distance basically from here to here when it's running in heat I'm not getting all my pressure through I basically don't like ever diagnosing one of these but y'all can see in there that's a new compressor Just for comparison, this is the other one, and this is what it's supposed to sound like when it shifts. That ain't what I was hearing on the other one. Condensation here. Yeah, this is the other one. I was just checking on it. Like I said, they just installed an air handler yesterday. Once again, a 20 year old R22. 12 seer train. Let's shift it again real quick. Yeah, that's not what I was hearing on the other one. Alright, so that's all of that little video. I will add on the upstairs system that was a two and a half ton. We installed a three-ton air handler that had a piston in it, and I left the 410 piston in it, and we just converted it to MO99. That way, if they have a failure outside, basically all we have to do is flush the line set and replace the condenser. So I feel good about that repair. And now that we're finally replacing this one, I say finally because I was on the phone for an hour and a half trying to get authorization. I feel good about that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.